What's up, big dog? This is Coach Roll at Five Star Lineman Academy. I'm excited, man, for my first vlog for Big Dog Football. It's a passion of mine. I want to be able to answer questions. I want to be able to talk philosophically, um, technically about D-line play. At the end of a long, hard day of training, get my big dogs better. I want to be able to sit down and talk amongst coaches and amongst athletes and those guys that just want to get better in the trenches. This is Big Dog Football Community. One of the questions that I've been receiving from several coaches is, Coach, what does Five Star Lineman Academy mean? Why did you pick that title? What does it represent? In Five Star Lineman Academy, those five stars represent five objectives. Teach the mind, train the body, mold the character, strengthen the spirit, and progress the player. All of those five objectives for me are different, but I make sure that I hit on each and every one of those objectives when I train each individual athlete because I feel that that's what creates, that is what creates the whole athlete. The first star is teach the mind. For me, that's the first level of education when it comes to D-line play, that you first have to teach an athlete what they're doing, why they're doing it, how they're doing it, where they're doing it. All the W's of football and the, and the H, how, they need to understand. They need to get it in their mind and know what, why, when, where, and how they're doing their position. What is it, coach, that I need to be doing? Why am I doing this? How do I need to do this? How do I approach this? What do I do and when do I do it? Those, to me, when you hit on those W's and the H, you're now teaching um, the mind. To me, that's important. I like to educate. I want to educate you on what you're doing at the trenches. Now, that's extensive because now you're talking about what stance you get in. Um, now you're talking about what approach you take. Now you're talking about, Coach, when do I attack the offer, the tackle, or the guard, or the center, all those different things. Now the education piece comes in. It gets very specific. Why do I do this move? versus that move? Why would I do a top club versus a club rip, a club over versus a club under? Um, why would I do this move? Why would I sweep him? Why would I speed to power him? Why would I finesse this guy? Why would I do this move to counter him? All those different things um, is, is the educational part. But just because an athlete, just because a defensive lineman knows what he's doing, it doesn't mean his body knows what it's doing. And so now for me, I have to train that beast. I have to train the animal. I have to now train the body. The body needs to habitually understand what it is doing and how it is doing it without you having to think about it. It needs to be able to do it instinctively. It needs to be able to be proactive or reactive in a situation without you having to subconsciously think, well, think about what you're doing. But your animal, your body needs to respond. Um, Barry Sanders said this to me was very powerful. He said, I learned how to turn my mind off and turn my animal on. And that's important. And this is where the reps come in, the right reps, not just reps, but the right reps so that the body understands what it needs to do uh, at any given moment. To me, that's important. So that's teach the mind, that's train the body, mold the character. They call me big dog. And it's not uh, a prideful thing, but for me, for those who, who know me, um, Big Dog, I spell dog D-A-W-G. The D-A-W-G is an acronym for Driven Attitude Will's Greatness. Um, the A for me is big. The A is big because the A represents attitude. If you were to put a numerical value to the word attitude, a-T-T-I-T-U-D-E. If you put a numerical value to every letter in the word attitude, as in one is A and T is 20, T is 20, and so on, add it up, big dog. Tell me what you get. I'll tell you. You get 100. And the reason why I feel that that's important is because I believe that your attitude has a lot to do with the, with the person you become. Your attitude has a lot to do with 
the D lineman, the dog you become, not just on the football field, but in life. Your attitude plays 100% into what you do or do not do. Your attitude, your attitude is important. Your attitude has to be right, big dog. And sometimes people will switch the word attitude for appetite. What's your appetite look like? Are you full or are you hungry? That's important. If you're hungry, then you'll go eat. If you want more, then you'll go work for it. Your attitude or your appetite is important. That's what drives a dog. Mold the character. I need to work with dogs or get my dogs hungry. I need them to have an appetite for success. I need them to have an appetite for work. I need them to have an appetite for production and progress. Attitude. I need to mold that character. I need you to know when you put your hands in the dirt, it's time to go to work. Attitude. Appetite. It's important. Teach the mind. Train the body. Mold the character. Strengthen the spirit. And for me, I don't, uh, I don't like guys that quit. I don't like guys that look at a situation and say, Coach, I can't do it. You have to strengthen your spirit. You have to strengthen that part of you that digs deep within you to find what you need to get it done. Your spirit, you gotta strengthen that. You gotta find something within yourself to identify. And that's the thing, that the way that a, a dog's strength, a spirit is strengthened is that he has to focus on looking inside of him, not outside of him. Strengthen your spirit. What is it about you that you are good at? What are your strengths and how can you use your strengths to be the best you can be? I guarantee you that there is something, there is a quality on the inside of you that will help you to be productive and successful. But you have to look within yourself. Stop allowing people to be mirrors. Your peers are not your mirrors. Who you are is not a reflection of what you see through them or in them. Look within yourself, big dog, to find out who you are. I don't care if you're five feet. I don't care if you're six feet. They told me in college I was too small. They said I was too short. And I believed them at first. But after a while, I began to realize, how can I uh, win? If I don't have, if I don't have, if I don't have, and I, I don't have this and I don't have that, why am I playing this game? How can I be successful in this game? Well, I had to realize that there was something I was good at. There was something that I was good at. And I began to realize I have to focus on the things that I can do instead of focusing on the things that I can't do. And when I focused on the things that I could do, then I start building off of that. That became my foundation. Are you quick? Then be quick. Play quick. Think quick. Are you strong? Then play strong. Be strong. You understand? Are you shifty? Do you have good hands? Do you have good hips? What do you have? What can you do? Use that. Focus on that. Focus on you and build on that. I don't care how big a guy is. It doesn't matter. It's always about the size of the fight in the dog. That's what it's always about. Strengthen your spirit. If you're going to play in the trenches the right way, your spirit needs to be strengthened. You need to find yourself and play. You need to play. Not him or them. You, you need to play. You, big dog. You got to play. Progress the player. Now, this is twofold. Because philosophically, for me as a coach, it's really important to progress your training. It's really important to progress the drills. It's important to progress that athlete so that athlete can, the right way and in the right timing, progress in their skill. So, I, I believe in that. I believe in progressing the athlete properly um, and in time in the right way from the ground up. I believe that. That's my philosophy. And a lot of great D-line coaches as well that I've learned from. Um, but it also means to progress um, as a player. Progress. Progress. My, my belief is this. Um, date perfection, but marry progress. And for me, what that means is, is that I don't mind having perfection in my view. I don't mind having it in my sight, but my objective, I am committed to progress. As long as I'm getting better every single day, for me, that's the main objective is to get better every single day. It's not to be perfect every single day. It's not. 
I have perfection in my view. I know what a perfect game looks like. And I don't know if I've ever had a perfect game. I've had great games that I played in. But I don't know if I've ever had a perfect game. But I've always had a progressing game. My game has always progressed. My game. Because my focus was on me. And the more I focused on myself, the better I got as a player. I progressed, big dog. Sometimes when you stare in perfection, it can be discouraging. Because perfection can sometimes remind you of what you're not. Progress reminds you of what you are. Progress gives you encouragement and allows you to see what you can be. Not only that, it allows you to see what you will be. To me, that's progress. It's having the ability to celebrate every small success. If you don't have the ability to celebrate every small success, then, then you don't have successes in your life. The more successes you have, the more you want and crave success. The more your attitude is all about success. The more you are a dog that thrives off of success because you celebrate small successes. Can I fix my stand today? Can I fix my hands today? Can I get better with my feet today? Can I get better with my hips today? What am I going to get what am I going to get better at today? What am I going to excel at today? What is it that I'm going to progress at today? That's what it's about. It is about progress. It is about making setting an objective, setting a goal for that day and getting better at that. And keep be, keep building on that. Just keep building on piece by piece, brick by brick, building up what you want to see in your what you want to see in your life. What you want to see at, in the trenches. That's what it's about. That's what Five Star Lineman Academy is. Um, for those who um, have asked, um, it's not that I only train five star athletes. It's not that. It's the opposite. It's that I take defensive linemen and I make them into five star athletes. The whole player. Teach the mind, train the body, mold the character, strengthen the spirit, and progress the player. That's what it's about. This is my vlog, Big Dog Football. This is how we get down. Hey, five-star athlete, let's go to work.